it has been declared South Africa's most destructive aquatic weed. This is due to the impact it has on the ecosystem and the millions of rands it takes to contain. The Hartebeersport Dam in the northwest province is one area that has seen an increase in the growth of this plant. Water hyacinth is classified as an alien invasive species. It is native to the Amazon basin and was first recorded in the country in the 1900s. But why is this plant such an issue? To find out more, I spoke to Linda Downsborough, a researcher and lecturer at the Water Research Node at Monash, South Africa. The problem with it is it tends to reproduce very quickly. And so once you have one plant, it, it spreads its seeds and you suddenly end up with 10 plants, 100 plants, 1,000 plants in a very short period of time. The free-floating plant can grow anywhere between 100 millimetres to 1 metre in height. The water hyacinth can double its population every 11 to 18 days. The plant rapidly forms dense vegetation mats, which can affect the use of the dam. It can cause a physical barrier, even in terms of boats and recreational activities, if you had a dam, for example, and your dam was working on a turbine system and you wanted to release water from the dam and these plants get stuck up in the turbines, you know, that can cause massive problems in terms of blocking of turbines and, and dam equipment. The plant thrives in hypertrophic or highly nutrient water bodies such as the Hartebeersport Dam. Controlling the hyacinth costs the country millions of rands per annum. In 2007, the Department of Water Affairs implemented the Hartebeersport Dam Remediation Program, also known as Metsi Ame. The aim of this program was to address the imbalances and unhealthy biological conditions of the dam. Part of the plan included containing the hyacinth. However, the project has since been halted and it is unclear when it will resume. Meanwhile, the Heart of Beersport Dam is still enjoyed by visitors and locals alike, as the hyacinth continues to multiply. It's like moving islands, just like going all the way around, all the way around. And it's beautiful, but I guess it does some damage.